Hello guys, how are we all doing? Welcome back to Premier League predictions for the weekend. So many games coming at us. Get your thoughts down in the comments. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. We're closing in on 22,000. So hit the red subscribe button, smash the like button. I'm joined by Sophie. I just got the better of you, but you're still winning overall on Premier League predictions. Okay, well hopefully you don't like catch up. I've got a pretty healthy lead at the moment, mm. so we'll see. Hopefully I have a good weekend. Yes, before we get into this, guys, it's worth saying it's being brought to you by OneFootball. OneFootball's a fantastic app, and the link is down in the description. If you haven't already downloaded it, what are you doing? If you click the link down in the description, it helps me as well. So click it down below, download the app, and it's worthwhile. There's so much football content on there. Like I say, Premier League, Championship, Serie A in particular, they stream a game there every Saturday night. It's certainly worth getting involved. It's a great app. It is. I like using it. Get involved, guys. Link is down in the description. Let's move on to the Premier League games. We start with the Battle of the Reds. Nottingham Forest host Liverpool. Now, Nottingham Forest are really scrapping for every single point. I will say, one of the best goalkeeping performances I've seen this season from Dean Henderson at Brighton. It's a good, a good draw. Keeper to be yeah, he's a good keeper. And if to get anything against Liverpool, they need him to be on top form. They need that defence to be as resolute as it was at Brighton. Problem for me was they just didn't offer too much going forward. So I don't know if they're going to get on the score sheet. I feel like the best Forest could get here is maybe like another nil-nil. But Liverpool are just starting to come into their own. So. You look at where these two are in the table, one's static at the bottom, one's starting to trend up. I think Liverpool win. Might not be pretty, because Forrest can be dogged, yeah. but I'll go 1-0 Liverpool. OK. Um, yeah, Liverpool got a great result against Man City, and I think Forrest getting a 0-0 against Brighton's a good result as well. So, two good results going into this. However, I think on the weekend it's just going to show the difference in class, to be honest. Um, the squad Liverpool's got, they should really be winning this fairly easily. However, I agree, I don't think Forrest is going to make it easy. So I'm classing 2-0 as a low-scoring game. Yeah, could be, could be. Forrest just need to get anything they can going into the World Cup. Let's move on to the next game. Everton take on Crystal Palace, two sides that have had their their moments this season but both want to get a move on Palace did get a win against Wolves I backed them to win 2-1 and they went and did it wow. Everton meanwhile they lost 1-0 to Newcastle they're just not I don't know that I think they they will be fine from relegation but I just don't see them progressing much more than just surviving at the moment mm -hmm. I think they could be about 15th or something it's a big game opportunity for Everton to get points but I'm going to back Palace I'm just more confident back in Palace even if it's at Goodison 2-0 Palace yeah, I think if any team's going to win it for me, it's going to be Palace. However, I think Everton are going to grind out a draw here. Um, I think, to be honest, both teams aren't in the best of form going into this, so it really could go either way. But I am going to, I'm going to back a one-one. I think it's going to be a draw. Next up to the Etihad as Manchester City take on Brighton. Man City obviously didn't play midweek because they were meant to play Arsenal and Arsenal played in the Europa League and before that they lost to Liverpool so they need to get back to winning ways soon just to keep the pace with Arsenal. I think we all still fancy Man City to win the league yeah. and uh, I think we fancy them to win this one. Brighton obviously they they lost Graham Potter. They're still showing good signs like against Forest they were the better side mm -hmm. but the frustration is they couldn't break Forest down. I'm going to go Man City. Brighton maybe get on the score sheet, but Man City 3-1. Yeah, I think it's something... I've read a stat, like, Brighton have had, like, 50 shots on target or something like that without a goal. I think that's insane. So they're obviously there. They're just not clinical enough. And against Man City, it's going to be very difficult. So I don't see them getting anything... So, yeah, I'm going to have to go 2-0 Man City. 2-0 Man City. OK, next up we go to Stamford Bridge as Chelsea take on Manchester United. It's an interesting match, this, because Chelsea have looked good under Graham Potter. They just yes. do. Um, they did only draw 0-0 with Brentford, but, yeah, they just look good in general. If he, you... I think he rested quite a few players, in fairness, yeah. in that game. I think this is two sides that object objective has got to be getting that top four. Chelsea could maybe push on a little bit more than that if they keep this good trend going. But as for Manchester United, just getting that top four, they got a great result against Spurs. Man United blow hot and cold. Mm. This is a tricky one because they've both looked good at times recently. So I'm going to sit on the fence. Chelsea won, Manchester United won. Yeah, I was going to say 1-1 one, one as well. So to spice it up, I'll say 0-0. Nil, nil. I think it could be quite an entertaining 0-0, nil, nil, but I do see this playing out as a draw. In my eyes, this really could go either way. I think Chelsea being at home should have the advantage, but Man United are in pretty good form as well. So I think it's going to be an entertaining nil now. OK, next up to Villa Park as Aston Villa, without a manager now, take mm. on Brentford. Um, it was the right thing, do you think, for Gerard to go? 
yeah i i like him so i'm quite sad that he didn't do very well there but the money he spent i think you had to get rid of him yeah yeah, we discussed okay. that in a video. If you want to check out the video of Gerard getting sacked, check it out down in the other videos. Uh, they take on Brentford and you don't know what to expect. Villa are at home, so it could be a positive and maybe a change in management could give them a bounce. I don't know. They won't be. They won't have brought in a manager by this game, basically. Um, but with Gerard gone, they might bounce. Uh, but I don't think they will. Uh, putting that performance against Fulham, they, they're just it's so awesome. bad, so yeah, bad. Really and Brentford, I like. Brentford are a solid team. Got a 0-0 nil -nil against Chelsea. I think Brentford come yeah. here and I'm going to say comfortably win. 2-0. OK, no, I'm actually going to back a Brentford win as well. I think Villa are in poor form. Um, there's not going to be, well, there won't be a manager in before the game. So I don't think there's going to be that new manager bounce. It's just a lot of negativity around Villa at the moment. I mean, especially after that performance on the weekend, um, midweek, I think it was very, very poor. So, um, yeah, I'm going to back Brentford to win because they're looking pretty good. So I'm going to say 1-0. 1-0. OK, next up to Ellen Road. Two sides that played on the Thursday. Leeds United and Fulham. Hmm. Now, Leeds United are at home, but you look at the the direction these two are heading in. Fulham are continually pushing up that table to buying all the yeah. odds, to be fair. and they um, sitting like ninth or something yeah, at the moment. Yeah, fantastic. I think I had them to go down. They were comfortable against Aston Villa. Uh, and Leeds lost to Leicester, and it's not been great for Leeds recently. I wonder if uh, Jesse March is the next manager to come under serious pressure. We'll be doing another video later. Yeah, um, I think the fact that Leeds are at home makes me think it might not be straightforward for Fulham, but I still fancy Fulham to win. Yeah. Leeds 1, Fulham 2. Oh, I was going to say 2-1 as well, so I'll say 3-2 Fulham. Um, I think Fulham are looking very, very good. They've surprised me and fair play to them. And Leeds at the moment, it's almost relegation form. They're sitting, mm. they're not sitting very pretty down there. And they're not putting in good performances either. So to lose at home to Fulham is going to be a bit of a stinger. And I think it's going to happen. So 3-2. Three, 3-2. Two. Three, two. Okay, massive game that. Next up we go to St Mary's as Southampton take on Arsenal. Arsenal, as we say, had to play in the Europa League. They won 1-0. Um, Southampton won 1-0. They beat Bournemouth. That was a good result that, for Southampton. Yeah, that was actually, yeah. I think Southampton might stay up this season because there's so much traffic down there. There's, there's, about, there's a lot worse teams yeah, in a way. There's there? about seven or eight clubs that could be relegated, <laughs> so they just have to be better than three of them. And yeah. I think Southampton could be if they get results like that. Um, I don't know if Southampton get anything against Arsenal, though. Mm. I think Arsenal will stay top for a bit longer. 2-1 Arsenal. I'm going to say 3-0 Arsenal. Whoa. I think, yeah, when Arsenal get firing, though, they're just looking very, very good. Yeah. They have got a good squad. There's a lot of positivity there. I think Arteta's doing a good job. And with Southampton, you just never know. They're very inconsistent. Yeah, Southampton had a great result on Wednesday, so I'll give that to them. But I don't see them getting anything about um, at Arsenal. So, yeah, I'm going to say 3-0 Arsenal. OK, next up is 18th versus 19th. It's Wolves versus Leicester. Wolves had a similar game to this last week when it was 18th versus 19th, yeah. but then they were playing Forest. Now it's a different East Midlands side. Um, Wolves did beat Forest, but then lost to Palace. Leicester have just beaten Leeds. So yeah. this is a real hard one to separate. I would sit on the fence, but I get a bit bored of doing that. I'm getting splinters. So I might just edge the home team I just think Leicester, as good as that win was against Leeds, they do show frailties at the back. And I think if Wolves can just hit the back of the net twice, it'll be enough. 2-1 Wolves. OK, I'm actually going to back Leicester. I think mm. it was quite a good performance against Leeds. Again, another inconsistent team. And I, I find it very, very hard to predict their results. Same with Wolves. Um, I think Wolves might make it quite a tight game. So I'll say 2-1, but the other way. Wow. Leicester. OK, we're split on that one. Yeah. Two games left. This one's interesting. Tottenham versus Newcastle. It's an established top six side versus the new boys in town, which are trying to join that top six. Newcastle United, and I really do like Newcastle at the moment. I think it'd be great for football to see them getting that top six. And um, They beat Everton 1-0. They're just grinding out the results before that. It was a 0-0 at Manchester United. Mm -hmm. Like I say, they're not losing many games. And this is a tough one. Going it away is. to Spurs. Yeah, it's no easy Spurs game. Spurs will probably be favourites. And I do like Spurs. But uh, uh, I'll, I'll say an entertaining 2-2. Okay. Oh, OK. Um, no, I'm going to have to back Spurs to win. I did think they'd beat United, actually. But I don't think they ever really performed well at Old Trafford, do they? Um, however, I think they're going to get back to winning ways here. I think... As you said, Newcastle, they're not in bad form at all. And I think they're going to have a good season overall. But it's a very, very tough place to go. So I'm going to say 2-0 to Spurs. 2-0 Spurs. Yeah. The last game then is at the London Stadium. And it's West Ham versus AFC Bournemouth. Bournemouth lost to Southampton. Hopefully for them it's just a, a one-off. Because before that they'd only been losing to the top teams. Yeah. Are West Ham a top team 
Sometimes. They're, they're, yeah, they're a top eight-ish team. Yeah. West Ham are hard to put your finger on this season. Um, they just lost to Liverpool. West Ham will see this as one they've got to win at home to a newly promoted side. But I think Bournemouth have bat been battling so well this season. Yeah. So I'm going to end on another 2-2 draw. So, like, literally two minutes ago, I'm not going to sit on the fence. I'm getting splinters. Nay, no, they're riddled with them. Um, I am going to back the home team. I agree that uh, Bournemouth, I think they're having quite a good season because, again, they're another team like Fulham. I didn't think they'd be performing well. So I do have to give them a bit of credit and I think that's why I'm going to keep the score quite low. But I do think they're going to lose. So I'll say 1-0. One 1-0. One okay. That wraps up our Premier League predictions, guys. As I say, get your comments, your thoughts down below. Check out One Football. The link is down in the description. Make sure you've hit that like button. Make sure you've hit that red subscribe button. And we'll see you in the next one. Peace out.